Welcome to Real Reviews. This week, we have another award season picture. Yeah. Three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. Woo! You might have heard of it because it won Best Picture at the Golden Globes. Yes. So he said, let's give it a whirl. Yes. A premise I knew absolutely zero. I went into this blind. Zero percent. No I didn't trailer. know anything about it. Didn't you know what it's about? Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. The story goes, a mother whose daughter was uh, raped and killed, she buys these three billboards out of her hometown, basically calling out the sheriff, be like, why hasn't there been any arrests? It's been seven months, just like a little thing. Yeah. And kind of gets the whole town involved. Yeah. I was surprised. I enjoyed it. And then I looked at the director, and I'm like, oh, of course. He did In Bruges and Seven Psychopaths, little hidden gems, you could call it. Yeah. Not like hugely popular, but that director, and it shows in this movie, has a way of taking like very serious subject matter and making it... Almost into like a dark comedy. A dark comedy, a little light. Like you should feel, you do feel bad. Like he makes you feel sad. He makes you feel mm -hmm. angry. But then there's like a little spin where you're like, ha, huh, like you kind of chuckle did, a little bit, right. you know? Yeah. Like, okay, he kind of puts like a little spin on it. But it's in a good way. It's not like in a goofy way or anything like that. Yeah, and so uh, again, you, you have this movie where, you know, it's it it's nominated for awards. I had no, no idea what it was about. Who was in it? A great cast. A yeah. dynamite cast. So you have Sam Rockwell. You have Woody Harrelson. Francis McDormand. Francis McDormand. You have Peter Dinklage. Like, all these names, and I'm going, whoa. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, so it picks up. She calls out the cops. She calls out the sheriff, uh, who's Woody Harrelson, and he feels bad. Seven months has gone by, and, like, they have this conversation where he's like, I don't know what to tell you. There's nothing in the database that, you know, points a finger at, like, a known suspect. It could have been just a guy that was coming through town. Yeah. And then you have Sam Rockwell, who <laughs> plays just kind of like this idiot cop almost. Idiot racist redneck oh. cop, yeah. And Frances McDermott, she's trying to, not only trying to um, kind of publicly call out the, the local police, but at the same time it's showing her how her family is coping with yeah. like the loss of her daughter. Her and her son are on the like the cusp of just being straight like she, he doesn't really want anything to do with her he, her husband has left her for a younger woman and it's it's in these parts of the movie where like you see her kind of deal it like talking with her family and you're like okay like the son hates her the the husband hates her and then you have like these moments of comedy of levity and you're like I found that was a little out of place, especially with the sun, and the cereal, and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, also, I think my not so much a gripe, but some of the scenes in this movie, <laughs> they're not like out there, but they're so crazy that I ended up looking at Kurt and I was like, "What is going on? <laughs> like, is this seriously <laughs> happening?" It just blew my <laughs> mind that it was that. happening. I love that about this movie. And I think that, like, for me, it kind of brought me out of like what was happening because it's serious, it's serious, and then boom, something happens, and I'm going, "What? <laughs> did, I, did I just watch that?" <laughs> so for me, I, I wasn't a big fan of that. But you know, like you said, like overall, like it's a very powerful. It's a good movie. Um, a lot of language, though. Oh, yeah. Ho. Oh, Ho. Oh. A lot of F-bombs. So <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. just like, all right, let's rock and roll. <laughs> yeah, I like, before they kind of come out and say what the movie's about, you think back in the back of your head, it's about, you know, dealing with your anger and dealing with having rage and acceptance and all this kind of stuff, these emotions all these characters go through, and they all kind of come together at the end. Mm -hmm. But it's a good movie. You know, if it won, it's nominated for Best Picture at the Oscar, and so is these people nominated for Best Actor and Actress. If any even won, I wouldn't have a problem with that. Yeah, for sure. I don't think at all. I'm gonna, I love this movie. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, 8.5 for me. Yeah, it was decent movie. Like, you've never heard of it. It's one of those, just check it out. This is a pretty good award season, This is actually. a great award season. It's not too often where we watch a lot of the best picture movies and we enjoy the majority yeah. of them, and we're on par. Like, we're enjoying a lot of them, so yeah. check it out. Yeah, and check out our Facebook page. Go to Real Reviews and give it a like. Give a like to the review of Three Billboards. I'm not going to say it all. <laughs> <laughs> Leave a comment if you've seen it, if you want to see it. If you do any one of those things, you get entered to win a $10 gift certificate to Perkins Restaurant and Bakery. And next week, we're back. The horror season over, but it's time for the horror season to begin. Some Winchester, Ooh. the house that ghosts built. <laughs>